In this video, we'll be breaking down exactly how to place bracket orders or OCO orders within the Thinkorswim mobile app. Now, if we begin first with doing this on positions we already hold in the account, what we're first going to do is go ahead and look at the toolbar down at the very bottom, go ahead and click on the Positions tab, which will then take us to the Positions page, where we can see a breakdown of all the positions I currently hold in this account right now. You can see in this one I've got a mix of stock, of options, and the process of doing a bracket order is going to be exactly the same regardless of the type of the position. So just as an example, if we were to scroll down a little bit here, you can currently see I've got 800 shares of Corsair in this account right now, which I'm currently down 69% on. So let's just say in this example, with Corsair currently trading for 860 it looks like, Let's just say I wanted to put a stop to get me out if Corsair ever dropped below 8, but I also wanted to set my profit target at my original entry point, at $28.44. Now in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and begin by hitting the little check mark box to the left of Corsair. You can then see as soon as I do, a little button appears over here on the right hand side that says close selected, which I want to go ahead and click on. Now you can see as soon as I did that, it did build out an order ticket to just outright sell these shares. So right up here in the upper left, it says I want to sell using a limit order, good for the day. And we could always edit that to anything we wanted it to be. So in my case, I'm going to change this from a day order to a GTC order, meaning this order is going to go out every single day until it fills, or at least six months, it'll go out every day. And in this case, because it is going to be my limit order or my profit taking order, I'm going to go ahead and adjust the price right here up to that profit target that I had. So in this case, it's going to be $28.44. We'll go ahead and hit done. You can see the quantity or the share box right now is set to sell all 800 shares, but I could always adjust that if I only wanted to partially sell my position. But now that everything looks good, and remember this is only a limit order currently, so I'm right now only saying I want to sell it if it goes up to $28.44. But now in order for me to put the stop along with it, what I'm going to do is look down in the lower left hand corner and click on the more button. You can see this brings up a little menu here with a bunch of different options. But the first one at the top is the one that we want to click on, the one that says create advanced order. That'll take us to this new page right here where we can see the order that we just created over here on the left. So right there it says I want to sell my 800 shares if it ever goes up to 2844, good until cancelled. We can then see that little circle in the center connecting it to our new order that we're about to create. And right now it says OCO which stands for one cancels the other. So here in a minute I'm about to add the stop along with this and because it's an OCO order I'm saying only one of them can fill. So I'm either saying I want to sell it if it goes up to $28.44 or I want to get stopped out if it falls down to $8 even. So now in order to attach that stop, I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Order over here on the right hand side. You can then see that it defaults to a limit order, which I can then edit by simply clicking on it. I'm going to leave it set to Sell because I do want to sell these shares, but I don't want this one to be a limit order. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Order Type button here. Go ahead and flip it over to a stop order. And I also want this one to be good until canceled. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust the time and force here, which is currently set to day. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And just like before, adjust it to a GTC order. And now the only other thing I need to do is come down here to the stop activation price, which is currently set to $8.59. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust that down to $8 even. And now with the stop set, I can either hit the group button in the upper left hand corner or hit done in the lower right hand corner. And that'll take me right back to my order ticket that I just saw previously. And now we can see my limit order on the left to sell it if it hits $28.44 or my stop on the right to get me out if it falls below 8. And remember, because it is attached as an OCO order, it means only one of these can fill. So if it ever goes up to $28.44 and sells it at that price, my stop is automatically cancelled. If it instead falls and I get stopped out at 8, my limit order is going to be automatically cancelled. But now with that set, since everything looks good, we would simply come up to the upper right and click the review button to just make sure everything looks correct in here. And right here it's just specifying the exact same thing we saw before. I'm either selling it for $28.44 or stopping out if it falls below 8. And since it all looks good, we'll simply come down below and hit send in the lower right hand corner. 
And that was it. That's how we're going to place a bracket order on something we currently hold. And now in order for us to check on that order, or if we wanted to edit it or cancel it, all we have to do is come down to the orders button down here at the very bottom of my screen. And for those of you who don't see it there, you might have to come over here to the more button in the lower right hand corner because your orders tab might be in here. But since I've got it at the bottom, we'll go ahead and click on orders here. And now right up there at the top, we can see my orders on Corsair currently working. Again, we can see it's going to sell if it goes up to 28 or stop if it goes down to 8. And in my case, I don't actually want that to work. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of them here. And I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel order to just outright cancel it. So now we can see the limit portion has been canceled. And now I want to cancel the stop portion as well. Go ahead and get rid of that too. And just so you guys can see that the process is exactly the same for an option contract, if we were to go down to my positions for a second, looking here below, we'll take a look at Google in this case. You can see I sold one of the 180 puts expiring the 14th of February. Right here, it looks like I originally sold it for 201. It's currently $1.15. So if I wanted to place a bracket order on this one, and just keep in mind, this is a short option contract. So it's going to be a little bit different than what we just went over. It'd be more comparable to a short stock position. But either way, what we're going to do is click on the little box on the left hand side here. We're then going to click on close selected in the lower right hand corner. And now looking here, remember, because this is a short option, I want to buy it back for as little as possible. So in this case, let's say I want to buy it back if it ever drops to five cents. Because that's not probably going to happen today, I'm going to go ahead and change the time and force over to good until canceled. And now that I've got the profit taking portion of the order filled out, I'm again going to come down to more in the lower right hand corner. I'm going to click on create advanced order. And now just like before, I have the ability to add my stop along with it. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on add order over here on the right hand side. I then need to edit this new order that I just added by simply clicking on it. And then in this example, I want to go ahead and change it from a limit order to a stop limit order. Now this is going to be very similar to our previous example where we're still setting a stop. So in this case, I want to get stopped out if this option ever goes above, let's say $3. So that's going to be my stop activation price. I'm saying if this contract ever trades above three, get me out of it. But because I don't want a market order to go out there because I'm trading an option contract, I'm instead attaching a limit order to it saying I don't want to pay any more than let's say 315. So again, I'm saying if it goes above three, get me out, but I'm not willing to buy it back for anything more than 315. So I gave myself a little bit of a gap there. Now, just like the other one, I don't want this to be a day order only. So I'm going to go ahead and click on day up here and instead flip it over to GTC. And now with both of those set, we'll simply come down below and hit done once again. And now I've got both of those orders set up right here, either to buy back that contract if it's ever trading for five cents or lower or to stop me out if it ever goes above three. Now, in my case, I don't actually want to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here, close out of that trade. But again, it's going to be exactly the same for stock, options, futures, anything you want to do. And for those of you who might want to attach this to your opening trade to do it all at once, what we're going to do is go over a separate example. So let's just say for this one, we want to buy some shares of Apple. So we're going to come up to the search box in the upper right hand corner, a little magnifying glass. We'll go ahead and throw in Apple, AAPL. And what we need to do is just build out an opening order just like normal. So in this case, we want to buy shares of Apple if it ever drops below 200, let's say. So in this case, we're going to come up to the upper right hand corner and simply click on the buy button. We're then going to fill this out just like normal. So in this case, I'm saying I only want to buy Apple if I can get it for $200 or better. I want this order to be good until canceled. Right now, I'm saying I only want to buy 10 shares of Apple if it drops to 200. That's the current quantity set right now. We'll go ahead and leave that set to 10. And now, just like before, if I wanted to add a bracket order to this trade to say, hey, if I ever buy it for 200, I want to automatically sell it if it goes up to 220 or stop myself out if it drops below 190, we're again going to come down to the more button in the lower left hand corner and once again, click on create advanced order. Now, this time you can see our opening trade is on the top and that's going to trigger the OCO bracket order to go out there once it fills or if it ever fills. 
So again, we're first saying I want to buy 10 shares of Apple for 200. And then if that happens, I then want to add an order and I want to edit this order to say if it goes up to 220, I want to sell it for a $20 per share profit. And I want this one to also be good until canceled. So now with the profit taking portion of the order filled out, we'll again come down and hit done. And now I can add the stop order to this trade as well. So we'll come over here to the right, hit add order. We'll then go ahead and click on that new order on the right in order to adjust it a little bit. And remember, we're going to change this one from a limit order to a stop order. We're going to make it good until canceled, just like the other two. And then we need to adjust the stop activation price. So in this case, I'm saying if Apple ever falls below 190, just put out a market order to sell those shares immediately and I'll take whatever I can get for them at that time. So now with all of those conditions set, if we come down below and hit done, we can then see the opening order right up here above to say first we want to buy 10 shares of Apple if it goes down to 200. And then if or when that happens, I then want to put out these two orders to sell it if it goes up to 220 or stop myself out if it falls below 190. And now with that set, we simply come up above to the upper right and hit review. And now we've got the order details listed out right in front of us. We can double check everything looks right. And if we're happy with it, we'll just hit send again in the lower right hand corner. And then remember, if you ever wanted to edit that or cancel it or adjust it in some way, we simply go down to orders at the very bottom. And there we can keep track of everything we currently have working. Now in my case, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the order at the top, the order to originally buy those 10 shares of Apple. And then I'm going to go ahead and cancel it right here. Now in this case, with the original order canceled, you can actually see it automatically cancels out the bracket order along with it. Because of course, if we don't actually end up buying those shares, we'll never be able to put out the bracket. So it's all automatically canceled. But hopefully that helps. Definitely give it a try in paper money before you do it for real in your real account. And for those of you looking to learn more, go ahead and check out this next video on Thinkorswim down below, and I'll see you all there.